now for a man who is a near and dear friend. It's Michael Connell, everyone. <laughs> Where's Michael? Uh, something actually uh, happened last week. I think you should take a look at this. What? G'day, guys. Uh, welcome to Live on Bowen. This is a comedy show. Since it is a comedy show, uh, I always like to get like someone to laugh. First laugh of the evening sets the tone. So, uh, with that in mind, can we have just practice at belly laugh, everyone? On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> that is perfect, perfect. We will be doing a lot of clapping on the show, so I'd like to practice a bit of clapping right now. Clapping? I don't want to hear any clapping, mate. I want some jokes. I've been here for five minutes. I haven't lolled once, mate. Well, look, the show's about to start. Come, Maybe on, come just... on, mate. Get professional. Well, we are very... If you could just take don't, a seat, mate. Oh, don't you touch me, mate. No. Oh, it's on my donkey gun. Now, come on. Just, oh, just get... Do you know no. where you are, my uh, friend? Uh, you are in the jungle. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, come on. People are saying that this is my fault because I'm the front of house manager and I let the lion in. But, you know, this is the 12th episode I've done, and this is the first time I've let a lion in. So there's a pretty good odds, and I would do it again, because I don't care what member of the community wants to rip off Michael's face, but this is community TV. And I have to let in everyone. Let's get into it! Thanks, no one's stopping this! In a television production, everyone has a job to do, and I think the problem with this production was that no one had the job of stopping someone being attacked by a lion. Oh, that's funny, man! Come on, tell us a joke, buddy! Come on! Hey, you should probably stop that from going on. No, no, that's not my job, mate. I'm the boom mic operator. I would operate the boom mic. Why don't you, why don't you stop it? Well, I am busy as well. I am. Doing what? I am producing this. I'm a producer. If I stop producing, this whole place would just fall apart. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. What a bloke. And like, I'm shocked. Like it was only, would have only been a week or so ago where I was just speaking to him, chatting to him down the pub, having a few drinks. Uh, I actually bet him that um, he would eventually be mauled by some form of giant, giant wild cat. And he's going, nah, 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 I'll give you a hundred bucks if I ever do. And, you know, surely enough, um, it happens. Uh, just wondering, who's in charge of his estate? Because I kind of need that hundred. I don't see Michael Connell paying that up any time soon. What with him being mauled to death by a wild cat. Well, I'm being told that following, all right, following these tragic events, uh, we've actually, we've actually got a little package to remember Michael's time here. So I, let's, let's play the package. Yeah, I remember Michael Connell. Uh, I've been writing with Michael for years. Uh, I wrote one of the first bits he ever did. It was so long ago now. Doesn't write, doesn't call, he's dead to me. Yeah, I remember Michael, he was weird. Do you remember his failed 90s sitcom? Oh, thank you, thank you, hey, thanks, thanks. Thanks guys, great to be here. Hey, you know what annoys me? Nothing. Yeah, like, like airplane food. That's something I can endure. <laughs> You know, they give you these tiny packets of peanuts. I'm grateful to have them. I really, I really am. Hey, hey, has anyone noticed, you know, black guys drive like this, white guys drive like this, and I don't care? I don't care. I don't, <laughs> I don't control other people. I, you know. Michael Connell, oh, uh, yeah, uh, he had a, he had a bit of a problem. Chocolate milk, worst addiction ever. Why isn't this working? This is just me. Did you ever know that you're my hero? And everything I would like to be. I can fly higher than an eagle.
Oh, man. That is going to take seconds to get over. So, 